Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish. Hmm. Good morning, everybody. Just had to move out of the main light because my beard looks ginger and it still does, which is not cool. Anyway, a bit of a reverse of my usual itinerary this morning. I'm going to go to the gym first and then head off to about 10 different press days. Later on, I've got spin again with one Rebel and Gillette and then it's a party with Diesel. So good day, all in all, but tomorrow morning I have to get up and go and fly in a World War II open cockpit plane, which should be amazing if I'm not hungover, so I'm going to avoid the alcohol today if I can and try and get a fairly early-ish night, but by all accounts, diesel parties are pretty epic, so we'll see how it goes. It's a day of fitness and press days. I'm feeling lazy today, so I'm gonna get the bus. Outfit details, courtesy of Diesel. I'm rocking the Diesel Yeti, because it's cold outside and wet. And the first stop is going to be Kurt Geiger at Hotel Cafe. Oh, yeah. Hotel Cafe Royale, I believe. One thing I will say about working out in the morning is it absolutely kills me. Usually I work out in the afternoon for good reason. Um, I like to go to sleep after I work out, but I've got at least 10 hours of work to do, so gotta stay awake. Just keep an eye out for the bus because I have missed them in the past and that would be annoying. here and they've also got a sporty kind of section next door with these nice suede high tops and these kind of star embossed slippers. I quite like these actually. A bit different but pretty cool. Victoria House, but I have to wait for Charlie. One good thing from the Boohoo Press Day was the inclusion of this, which is basically normal water, not flavoured or strained in any way, shape, or form, and also a goodie bag which contains some clothes. So I'm looking forward to trying it out and seeing what's in there. jackets it's well padded though you feel the, you feel the padding can't you just arrived at the Devon Express day and this guy's here Charlie yeah. you're, you're both in here say hello yeah. 
you do, man? You don't come and film me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you're in it, that's it. <laughs> I've been out of by this guy. Um, yeah, it's a really, 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 really cool space. And I had the NFL event here about, I don't know, about two weeks ago. So it's quite strange that I was doing press-ups, basically, where this table is. Some really cool home stuff. Quite like the blue in this. Obviously pineapples, because everyone loves those. Finally, we have healthy food at an event, courtesy of Deb's Deli. What are we going for? Some quinoa. Also got some nice healthy juices as well. Yeah, cocoa verde, spinach, kale. It's going to be a healthy day. And a water. When one course isn't enough, take four. How's it look, Charlie? That's good. That's good. The good life. Thank you. That is the Jules press day done, the fifth and final press day. It's now time to go home and finally wash my jacket and then head off to One Rebel for about 6 p.m. <laughs> Spin session was quite really good and the event is sponsored by Gillette, even though it's backwards. And then you razor, which if I read the blurb, cools and chills at the same time. And that is a wrap, just finished my ride. Right, that is the evening finish and I'm walking back with the South Park Extra, aka Dodgy Joey. <laughs> you look like you're gonna kill someone. So that's the uh, spin class done and yeah tomorrow morning I'm gonna be flying a plane for the last time ever and it's a world war plane which makes it a bit more exciting slash dangerous. So I'll see you then. Good morning. I haven't used my eye roller this morning so my eyes look terrible anyway bright and early still a bit frosty I'm off to London Bridge to go and meet Blackstar who are a they're like an aviation inspired label and today's trip is going to be a flight on a private jet down to or up to Cambridgeshire and then a quick lap in a tiger moth World War II plane which apparently at some point I might get to fly I've got no flying experience so it should be quite fun and I'm looking forward to it. If it stays like this, look at the moon. It's a good day. I'm just videoing stuff. Is that him? Hopefully. Good morning. How you doing, man? Ben, nice to nice meet you. How you doing? Oh. at Biggin Hill and there are plenty of planes around here as you can see my craft for today the first one is that one there it's quite small 
but the sky is blue so we should have some nice views over London and we're flying to Duxford in Cambridge. About to board the plane. Not like closing a car door where you just go, yeah, I think it's closed. All right. <laughs> Sorry, Ben, is your phone in... Um, My pocket. Air, uh, oh, airplane mode. Yeah. Okay, I will, yeah. If that's okay. Didn't think about that. Because this is probably actually one place where it might actually interfere with the instruments. Clip! at Duxford where it's quite windy. So I think my plane for the day is gonna be that one. Just there. Right, so it's almost flight time and I am about to get into my Tiger Moth plane which is just being set up for me. Open cockpit which should be quite fun. It's quite chilly but I'm wearing a full boiler suit so I'm hoping this keeps me warm. So I survived. I'm very, very cold. Had had the most amazing experience on the Tiger Moth, which are now parked up just down there. Main thing is it's a really, really small plane, so you feel the vibration straight away. It gets a bit cold and a bit windy, but there's nothing quite like dipping down in an open cockpit plane. The plan is to ride on this thing here which is pretty much the same plane that Edward VIII had as a personal plane when he rode around the world in 1930s I think. Yeah, it's fine, yeah, I'm just gonna... ladies first. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, welcome to British Airways. This is e easy jet. Easy jet. Business. You're going business. Do we have we have trolley service? Oh my god. This is probably smaller space than the than the Tiger Moth. <laughs> Okay, so we're on the uh, EasyJet flight back to Duxford with the Spanish.
that I've landed back at Biggin Hill after a quick flight back to amazing sunset ish views over London. The Piper Arrow Turbo got us there in one piece. The main issue is that now I want my own plane. It's so much fun and I to fly wherever you want. I can't stop looking up. So that's it, time to say goodbye to the Piper Turbo and jump back in a cab for the journey home and then I have a staycation in Mayfair, which should be fun.